So is the interest that you pay on a home equity line of credit tax deductible? Okay, that is a great question and we are gonna dive into the details in today's training. Hey everyone, it's Mike Adams, and on this channel, we empower individuals to achieve freedom through improved financial literacy and business ownership. If you are new to the channel, make sure to click subscribe and click the bell, so that way you get notified on any and all of our future content. So in today's video, we're gonna be discussing, is the interest that you pay on a home equity line of credit tax deductible, okay? And uh, that is a fantastic question, and it's something that, you know, for those that are proponents of using strategies like velocity banking, where we're paying down the mortgage, you know, there's been people that have came back and said, well, Mike, you know, I don't want to pay down my mortgage because I get that mortgage interest deduction, right? And and, and they're excited about that. And so, um, you know, they want to um, maybe not pay down the mortgage because they want that deduction. Um, and obviously my argument to that is, well, we're paying interest to get a deduction um, and a lot of interest, depending on your mortgage, you know, there's other ways to get a deduction, right? Um, you know, and, that, and that's just one of the deals, you know, when, um, when I was in corporate America W2, you know, there's only about 15 deductions that are available to you. And then the mortgage interest deduction was always one of the biggest ones. So, you, I mean, you want to be able to max it out and, you know, get all that. Um, but this is where the benefits of opening and starting a small business come into play. As a business owner, you know, now there's, you know, 400 plus, you know, deductions, depending on your, the type of business and how you're structured, that you can actually take advantage of to lower uh, your tax liability. And so when you have other ways to create deductions, that mortgage interest deduction, um, that, that again, you're only getting because you're paying interest, okay, uh, becomes less important to cling on to. There's, again, there's other ways to get deductions okay uh, but the bottom line is if you can deduct we we want to and then if we're, and if you're gonna use a HELOC and you're gonna pay any interest on a HELOC whether it's for velocity banking or for or for investing or for whatever you know consolidating debt you know whatever you're using HELOC for you know is the interest that you pay on it still tax deductible since it's secured by the equity in the property and so great question so to start okay understand that there are limits to mortgage interest deductions. And, and this has all really changed over the last couple of years. Now, if you took out your mortgage before 2018, the uh, the cap was at 1 million. Okay, so the interest expense that you're paying on up to $1 million uh, worth of uh, property, obviously with a mortgage on it, um, you get to deduct up to uh, that first million, okay, worth of uh, the interest that you're paying. Now, if you took out the mortgage after 2018, then the, the cap was brought down to 750000 And so now here's where the HELOC comes into play. Okay, because back in the day, you know, the HELOC interest was tax deductible. Okay, as long as, you know, like let's say you had a $500,000 mortgage, so you're able to write off all the interest, you know, that you're paying um, on that mortgage. And let's say you had a $200,000 HELOC and you're paying some interest on, on, on that, right? That'd be 700,000 total. You know, even with the pre-2018 mortgage, that's, you know, that would still be less than the cap of 1 million. Um, and also on a new mortgage, uh, you know, post uh, 2018, you know, you'd still be, you'd be at 700,000 there. So you'd still be at less than the $750,000 cap. Um, and so with the old rules, you would be able to deduct all of that interest, right? But one other thing changed, not only did they reduce the amount of mortgage interest that you could deduct, they also changed the rules around how um, how much HELOC interest um, you could actually deduct. And they based it on what the HELOC was used for, okay? So if you're, let's say, you got a bunch of credit card debt, let's just say, and now you're uh, gonna roll it into your HELOC, which I don't, you know, <laughs> again, there's um, every, yeah, every situation is unique and there'll be some scenarios where that does make sense. Uh, but in other scenarios, it's like, eh, you know, we probably don't want to take uh, unsecured debt and then make it secure debt. Um, you know, we maybe don't want to do that. But in some scenarios, there may be reasons to do it. Um, for this example, let's just say you did and you consolidated 200 grand worth of other debt onto this you know, $200,000 HELOC. 
Well, since it was used for debt consolidation, you would not be able to deduct any of that HELOC interest. It can only be deducted if you're spending that money on improvements to the property. Okay, you have to be you know, substantially improving the property uh, with your HELOC and you have to be able to prove that, okay? You can't consolidate credit card bills and then say, well, I was improving the property, okay? You have to be doing some stuff to the house that the HELOC is secured against, okay? And basically doing things to just increase and strengthen the equity position of the property. If you're doing that with your HELOC, okay, so let's say you're gonna finish the basement or you're gonna redo the kitchen, you're gonna redo the bathrooms, and you're really using your HELOC to improve your property, okay? And, and you can prove that, well then the interest that you're gonna pay on that HELOC would be tax deductible, okay? So again, you know, there's limits and there's caps, okay, to the amount of interest that can be deducted, period, between mortgages uh, and HELOCs. But then as well, there's also that restriction on, you know, you can only deduct the interest if you use your HELOC to do home improvements and do things to substantially improve the value of the property. As long as you're doing that, then HELOC interest is tax deductible for you and you're again under uh, now that, you know, if you got a new loan, that's $750,000 cap, okay? And if you have an old loan, you got up to a million there. Uh, but as long as you're under that cap and your HELOC was used for home improvements, yes, you will be able to deduct that interest, okay? So again, great question. And again, this is one that came in from one of our subscribers. And so as you go through the videos on this channel, you know, yeah, me and my team, we are looking at all these comments every single week and we look for, uh, you know, recurring themes. You know, as you guys have questions about certain topics, uh, if we see that a couple of different times or if it's something that you put in there that's just unique, um, we will certainly uh, look to create a piece of content just like this that answers that question and that way others can benefit from the training as well. Uh, hopefully you guys got value and learning a little bit more about how HELOC interest can be deducted. Again, in some cases it can, in others, depending on how you use the HELOC, it will not be tax deductible. So it really again depends on your use. You know, give this video a like. It definitely helps us with the YouTube algorithm and allows us to uh, get our videos in front of more people. And again, uh, join the conversation and give it a comment below and I will see you in the next video.